Let's talk about Belveth for a second. I spent some time reading her lore, reading her bio, looking at all the teasers, and watching the most recent trailer that came out today. And I've been reading a lot of the comments in the comment section of the video and some of the comments on the internet talking about Belveth. And while there is a resounding opinion that is great that a Void Champion is returning to League of Legends and Runeterra, we're getting a new one, finally, there is some issue with her design from some people. <laughs> And I want to talk a little bit about it because I think those people, while are, you know, you can have the opinion that you don't like certain design aspects. I think sometimes we, th we look at the, just the kind of the cosmetic viewpoint and not the lore viewpoint and what the, that kind of implicates in the champion and kind of almost, I don't, I, maybe Riot Games is like 5,000 IQ, big brain, like galaxy brain thinking about this, but this is how I at least think about Belveth after kind of reviewing her biography, reviewing her lore a little bit, and kind of coming to the realization that we're kind of all thinking about Velveth in the wrong way. The slapping, I get it. Look, it's weird. It's it's kind of awkward. It doesn't really, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't feel like <laughs> naturally like the void. She is not like, she definitely doesn't shoot lasers out of her eyes. She doesn't like carve people up like Kha'Zix. She doesn't eat people like Kog'Ma and Cho'Gath. She does like hunt people down like Rek'Sai. She's not like that. I get it. The slapping is weird. It's kind of awkward. It looks a little bit silly a lot of the times. Also like the weird like stabby move that she's got looks kind of funky, kind of weird. But I want you to think about this for a second. Belveth, if you read the lore and you and you actually like listen to what she's saying and the conversations she had with Kaisa, she is not like other void champions. In fact, she's not like any other void being. In fact, she is completely almost separate from the like the entities that kind of lead the void, which are the watchers, right? She is a different being with different feelings. And she's like the combination of all these emotions and people and raw materials from the city that she's absorbed and created from. She is completely different. She is not like Vel, she's not like Rek'Sai. She's not like Cho'Gath. She's not like the oldest Voidborn in existence, Vel'Koz. So when you take that into account and look at how she behaves in game, you can almost see that she is not going to be like any of the other Void champions. Yeah, sure, it's kind of silly to see the slaps and stuff and the stabbing and whatever, but she has a lot of cool aspects to her. I think if you take in not just how she looks in game and also take in the fact that she, her lore is actually very like, different than the other Void Champions, it kind of makes a lot of sense when you see her in game. Now, I'm not gonna talk about the skills and stuff. That's a whole nother video. Uh, if, you, if you want my opinion really quickly, I don't know if I like that she has a million dashes like all the other champions in the game. She has this other stun and stuff. Kind of cool that she can passively push towers, but that's a whole nother video once we finally get some finalized details on her abilities, like actual concrete Riot Games showing us what she does. <laughs> this is a larger, talking point and conversation about how if the designers at Riot Games really did think about it that way, bravo. If they didn't, well, I think it's a fun little thing that I think we should all think about. So yeah, you've been taking Velveth all wrong, maybe, uh, and she's different. She's a different girl. She's a different girl. She crow boss all over, and she's ready to take over Runeterra. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Tell me what you think about Velveth. Like, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see more content, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one when we talk about Velveth's abilities inevitably. <laughs> also the legs, by the way, the legs, the legs are weird. Okay, I'll, I'll admit the legs, legs dangling are weird. Okay, they're weird. Look, we ain't putting those, those feet picks on because the, I don't know if there's actually feet. Are they, the, what do they do? They function, they're just there to like trick you. I don't know, it's like angler fish kind of deal, like weird. She's a fish manta ray, okay? She has legs. It's Okay, it's creepy, just saying, all right, bye.